Welcome people, Population Nation here. And I am happy to say, after persevering with Star Wars Andor, Episode 6, I got some praise for it. Well, I might book high praise. So, the first couple of episodes, really slow, boring, I found. And then I get to episode 6, the, the last episode this week. And, um, I really quite, well, yeah, I really enjoyed it, yeah. And, um, it was a nice change from, like, watching, you know, Star Wars being, like, just crap, basically. <laughs> that's just, that's it in a nutshell. It just, it hasn't been good at all. It's been horrendous, you know, and seeing, like, you know, beloved franchise, um, just... Yeah, and then I watched this uh, like, latest episode, and I actually, for the first time, want more. Like, I was actually, you know, when the episode finished, I was like, oh, I want to see what, I, I want to know what happens next now. And, you know, that, people keep saying it's, the show's like more grown up and a more Star Warsy, like. But I can't really compare it to anything, you know. It's it's definitely different. It's definitely got a more serious tone. Um. But you know, after a slow start, it, it's getting moving now. You know the. The stuff put in place in the first few episodes. I mean, I still think they were slow. They, they could have um, condensed it down into, you know, we didn't need six episodes to get where we were going. But, like I said, I actually want to know what goes on next now. And I hope they continue on this sort of trajectory. And... Because there's still characters and stuff that's happened before that, you know, are yet to come back in. Um, we've seen the interviews with that uh, Imperial Lady Officer, you know, she hasn't gone involved yet. So, I, I have got good hope for the show, yeah. I mean, as you know, Andor's been recruited to do a job, uh, a, a robbery. They're going to rip off some... Um, um, uh, oh, I can't think of the word now, you know, like the wages, the payroll, that's the one. Um, don't know why, I know, I know they're basically doing it, well, one, because they can, and it's like, um, it's obviously one step in a much bigger plan to, you know, get the rebellion going and, you know, stick it to the Empire wherever they can. And... Also seeing it from that, like, you know, the the Imperials point of view as well. You know, this is the first time really we saw a bit of it in the Mandalorian. Well, you know, from the Imperial officers and you know, the first time we actually saw um the sort of inner workings and the brings a bit of the human side to the Imperials as well, because in, in their eyes, they don't think that they're evil doing any wrong. I mean, they actually think what the Rebels is doing is wrong. And uh, vice versa. Well, yeah, it's interesting. I, I, I'm actually, yeah, looking forward to the next episode. And that, like... Uh, it's the mark of a good show to me. I mean, it won't be for everybody. Not everybody likes Star Wars. Not everybody likes, you know, the space fantasy type stuff. But those who do, uh, and like anything else, if you're actually looking forward to the next episode, then that proves that the one that you just watched was enjoyable and uh, interesting. And I, I didn't think it took needed six episodes. I've already said that once, so I'll say it again. But um, um, it's nice to see uh, some decent Star Wars for once, yeah. Anyway, people, thanks for listening. 
look to uh, see again in the future, hopefully, with uh, more good news about uh, Star Wars. Thank you for listening. Peace.